guys, welcome back to the channel. This is vlog number two for you guys. Um, I cannot believe the feedback and reviews I got for my last vlog as very pleasantly surprised. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. So guys, we're going to start with jumping back to last Sunday because that's where I left off. Um, Jeff and I actually um, went to church and then we went shopping, did some errands, um, we even went to Toys R Us. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that in so you guys can follow us around shopping. Hey guys, it's Ashley and Jeff here. We are on our way to church because that was my New Year's resolution and we're making it happen. So we're going to talk to you after church because we have some other fun activities planned. Hey guys, what's Hi. up? <laughs> we just got out of church. Um, it definitely felt great to get back into the groove of things with church. Um, we have a few errands to run today as well. Yeah, we have like 10 stores we're going to. <laughs> we have to um, take back some dishes we got for Christmas and there's two Victoria's Secret items from last week I showed you guys I didn't want anymore. And we get to go, first we're going to our one of our favorite restaurants. It's a Japanese steakhouse called Aki. Um, we love our yum yum sauce it's where it's at. If you guys haven't been to a Japanese steakhouse, you need to. Um, we go during lunchtime, it's cheaper, so yeah. Um, I'll show you guys the restaurant when we get there. Later. Bye. I did get the bubbles. <laughs> okay guys, so we have this we get the same thing like every day. Doesn't Jeff look so nice in his tie and shirt from church? <laughs> um, here's the menu. We always get the shrimp hibachi. Sometimes, what, you get the scallops? Yeah, and I get the shrimp hibachi. Um, yeah, we love fried rice. Okay guys, so we'll show you what our meals look like when they come out. Hey guys, um, our meals start off with salads. And this like oriental dressing is the bomb. I'm gonna try and like make a homemade version of it soon. But yeah, these are salads. Oh my, so freaking good right now. Jeff got the scallops, I got the shrimp, we love our seafood. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> um, I should only eat half of this, but I'm probably gonna eat the whole thing and just eat a light dinner, so yeah. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, we're at Toys R Us because we're kids. And we love Nintendo and we wanted new Amiibos. So I wanted to get Daisy but she looks really ugly. Like, do you guys think she looks fat in this picture? <laughs> or in this, you know? She just doesn't look good. So I think I'm gonna cancel on Daisy. Mario just got done with Peach. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, Jeff and I have been playing Yoshi's Woolly War World, so those would be kind of cool. Jeff, you should get one of those since you've been really like doing your tutorials and stuff. We'll see. Another option, I think Jigglypuff is so cute. I might want Jigglypuff. It's a popular, you can see that, you know, there's not many of them. Um, and last but not least, this set's probably too expensive to get today, but I think these bright colors look really neat. Um, I play Splatoon a decent amount. <laughs> look at this. Those of you that play Mario, like at the end when you jump on the flag, isn't that so cute? Babe, I think this would be a cute way to store all of our Amiibos. Jeff's looking at the new 3DS. Um, I'm a big 3DS person and I seriously want the new one so bad. Hey, if you're getting the Nintendo Switch, I should be able to get the Nintendo 3DS in March. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> We're going to Walgreens now. Bye Toys R Us. Guys, we didn't end up getting any Amiibos because Jeff wanted one that wasn't there and I I feel like I'm already spending some money today so I thought maybe I shouldn't get an Amiibo today. Um, we're always, we are always
always going to be out this way because this is where our church is so I can always get it another time. We did actually find something for Brittany surprisingly at Toys R Us so I'm going to surprise her with that in the upcoming months. So, yeah. But Jeff is actually taking me to Walgreens now and I'm going to get some um, drugstore makeup from one of my favorite brands so that's coming up. I'm really disappointed they don't carry Milani cosmetics here. So that's what I came in for. So I guess I'm gonna have to order online. I'm gonna look and see if there's anything else new though. So hey guys, just the set of dishes we're taking back. We're looking for a stainless steel set today. Okay guys, so we had a totally babe smile. <laughs> we had a totally successful day at um, shopping in Altoona today. Um, we got this really nice cuisine art stainless steel set of pots and pans. Um, normally $300, we got it for $160, and then mom and dad had given us $80 um, towards our Christmas, so we only spent $80 on this, so I am absolutely in love. And we have our Julius's. Jeff got me large, I don't know why, I'm never gonna drink this whole thing. Okay guys, so as you saw in that um, little vlog clip, um, we did get an awesome set of dishes. And you guys won't believe this, I haven't even unboxed those dishes yet just because like I had a super busy week. So I'm actually going to unbox those here on my channel. Okay, so you guys can't see, but this box is like massive. Well, you saw in the um, video. So we're gonna open this thing up. I feel like I always have new stuff to show you guys whenever I'm vlogging. Like, I seriously normally don't spend this much money. Ooh, okay. So, I'm totally excited, guys, about these dishes. Like, I swear, I'm gonna start cooking more now that I have these dishes. Okay, so first, oh, also these have a lifetime guarantee, so that was really cool. Use and care guide, register your product. Set those to the side. We have a lid. Clear lids on all of the pots and pans. Pot number one, this looks like a saucepan. This is a 13 piece set, by the way. Oh wow, it's so gorgeous. I don't know why they had to include like, well, let's see what it says. Oh, it's the same stuff. Dishwasher safe, blah, blah, blah. That's already on the outside of the box. I don't really think we needed stickers. Okay, guys, so this is kind of what all the pots and pans are gonna look like. Super shiny, really pretty. Another saucepan, just a little bigger. So you can see in this pot, um, it has like the belly shape at the bottom, like super elegant. I think these dishes are gonna be like too good for our kitchen. This would be our eight inch skillet. Four quart Dutch oven. This is the three quart saute pan. And guys, here's how they look with the lid. Another lid. Running out of room around here. baby lid, eight quart stock pot. And this comes with a pasta insert, which will be like really helpful. Yes. So there you have that. I've never had a pasta insert before. That's really cool. Last item. Is the last skillet here. Pretty, pretty. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try and do some cooking this week and I'll let you know how like all, all the food cooks in these dishes and how I'm liking them and give you an update. 
But for now, I'm going to clean up this mess and I'll get right back to the vlog. Okay guys, from the clip of us shopping, you also saw that I went to Target and I found some pretty cool things. Um, some drugstore products. So I'm going to show you those. So first is Burt's Bees Lip Balm in Grapefruit. As I told you guys, I love the smell of grapefruit and I love lip balm, so this was a must-have. Next on the list is Pixie by Petra, this Honey Sheen, I think it's called. Yeah, Honey Sheen Lip Lift Max. Um, the reason I got this was there's some other YouTuber that was saying that this Pixie Honey Sheen compares to the Marc Jacobs um, Sugar Sugar. So yeah, I do like this lip gloss. It is nice. And it's like one of those lip glosses like that makes your lips tingly and cool. Okay, and the last set of stuff I got from Target is actually all from Wet n Wild because not only is Wet n Wild inexpensive, but it was also on sale. So everything costs like dirt cheap. So I told you guys I wanted some makeup removers last week, but I didn't want to spend like the $7 for a pack of just makeup wipes. So I got these for $2 from Wet n Wild. Uh, and they smell really good too. Maybe not as good as the grapefruit wipes, but still they're nice. The next thing I got from Wet n Wild is this Color Icon Ombre Blush. I don't know if you guys can see the ombre there. It goes from like pink to like a purplish color. Um, I did test this out on my cheeks and you could just barely tell the lilacs there so it's not like a purple overkill on your cheeks. But um, I thought it would be like a really fun um, shade for the spring to come up with like some cool looks. Okay guys, and then I grabbed these little containers of these this like glitter stuff. It's not like loose glitter, it's actually like a cream so you don't have to worry about like the glitter glue for your eyelids. And I know I've mentioned this, this to you guys a few times, but glitter on the lids is in right now. So I got this in gold and like a white iridescent. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on my arms so you can just see um, how pigmented they are and what they would appear like on the lids. Okay guys, so we finally made it past this weekend in all my little shopping that I did. So let's dive into this week right now. So, as you can see, I have a handy dandy bag of Hall's throat lozenges here because I've had like a sore throat all week. Um, it's just starting to get um, a little better I think for the weekend, but like also I just feel like I have a little bit of like congestion like in here. So I think that's going away, but it's been just like a nuisance this week. I hate being sick. Also, as far as work goes, um, I'm starting to feel like a little more caught up, so that's great. Also, this week we had some snow. We actually got to leave an hour and a half early on Tuesday, so that was awesome. But guys, like check this out two days later. So yeah, that's the weather for you in southwestern PA. As far as my resolutions go, I haven't actually made, like, sat down and taken the time, like, to make a list and be like, okay, this is what's happening this year. It's been kind of, like, mental thoughts, but I want to write it down on paper here soon. One thing that I really need to step up my game on is, like, I sleep in every morning so bad. I actually got to work late two days this week, seriously, and they're, like, giving us points at work. So I haven't gotten any points yet, but they're there. Something I'm proud of myself about this week is I haven't been just like sitting around when I get home and letting myself feel tired from work. Um, I did a little bit of exercising, but I definitely like, I wouldn't say stayed caught up with housework, but I definitely like made sure like I did some type of chore after work and I've been eating decently too this week. Okay guys, so song of the week. <laughs> I heard this song playing in my boss's office actually and I asked her what song it was and she, she said it was Cocoon by Milky Chance. And I was like, man, I love this song. I know I've heard it somewhere before and I need to download it. So I'm playing this song and Jeff's, Jeff hears it and he's like, oh, that's the song that Britney played on her Ocean City vacation, right? So I was like, that's where I heard it at. So Britney, you found the song first. I give you all the credit. On Friday, um, as I told you guys, we're playing Biggest Loser at work. There's about like 15 to 20 of us that are participating in it. I weighed in on Friday and I've lost a pound and a half this week. Um, I was not on the leaderboard. We put like the top three people who lose the most weight on the dry erase board. And I like so wouldn't be on the dry erase board, but I didn't quite make it this week. However, I'm just happy that I'm like consistently losing weight, so that's great. 
Another thing that happened this week is my iPod dock is like crap. I bought this thing in 2009 and sometimes it won't even play and when it does decide to play it's like the quality is horrible. So I'm looking for something that has like great sound quality but is like small enough that can like fit in like my little like craft room area. Okay guys and I want to start incorporating um, jewelry that I wore throughout the week for you guys. I'm just going to clip these in really quick. Let me know what you guys thought about me including my jewelry of the week in my vlog. If you're like, I don't care what jewelry you wore, that's stupid. Let me know and I will cut it out. Okay guys, so we have reached our last topic of this week's vlog. We are going to go over our product empties. So our first we have is Head & Shoulders Shampoo. You guys obviously know about this brand. You can find it at Walmart, CVS, any drugstore. Um, I've been using this for years. Um, I used to struggle with like dandruff, maybe like eight years ago, but I have never had an issue since I started using this stuff. It's really good for your scalp. So yeah, definitely check this out if you're having any like dry scalp issues. And I only had one other item for product empties is this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. I throw this stuff over my liquid foundation like almost every day. It really mattifies your foundation and it hasn't made me break out. It's great. I love it. I love Neutrogena brand altogether. Okay guys, so that's everything. Um, I hope you had a great week and we'll keep in touch next week for my next vlog. See ya!